Hey guys, so today we are spraying this trailer with U-Pole Raptor Liner. Um, haven't used this stuff before, so I guess I'll see how hard it is to actually spray. Uh, first of all, I gotta prep the trailer, so I gotta still sand the whole thing back and um, spray it with an undercoat before I go ahead and spray this stuff on. So I guess I'll get to sanding. Okay guys, so just did the primer. Uh, I gotta let this sit for, it says 10 to 20 minutes. So I just guess I'll come back in 15 and um, start shaking the Raptor in the bottle and get that all ready. It's pretty much, everything's pretty much ready to go. Um, got the compressor ready to go. Guns already connect up to it. So I just basically just gotta add the hardener into this raptor bottle and start spraying so start that at about 15 minutes do the first coat of white coat then the next one Sprays out good, that. Yeah, not too bad. What right, do you press it again to stop it? Let's get going. Now do it the same way. Yeah, well, I kind of can't. I know it's hard. It's not coming out right. Yeah, you might have to. Turn on. Better. You fix up this hose, it's stuck. So you can spray it, you can spray it. So the next coat you go on, you can go on quick. Let it, let it dry for half an hour and then give it the last coat.
Hell yeah, does it? Too close, I don't want this getting on the lens. Stand back there. How you do? You probably only use one more. Just finished going through the first bottle. Um, first one on first bottle did most of the trailer so I'd say I only need a second bottle to do this little bit and then touch up a few spots I missed but it's going on pretty good um, pretty easy to spray so I'll get into this second bottle and then yeah let, you, let it dry and see how it goes Do all the sides first and, and do that last. Give it a nice thick coat so you go away. That's it. Once you can't get you in your gun, you can pass it to me and I can pitch it off right handed. So just finished the trailer um, the only thing left to do now is take the tape off um, I think you got to do that pretty pretty quickly before this stuff dries um, otherwise you you won't really get all of it off but um, spray it on all right now I just got to wait till it dries and um, see what spots I missed but you know, you can see like where I've gone a little bit heavy, but heavy dry. But you know, looking pretty good.
Okay guys, so uh, it's been done for it's, uh, a little over 24 hours now, so um, it's pretty much all set. I mean, I think you're supposed to leave it for a couple of days before you're supposed to actually put stuff on it or, you know, anything like that. So it fully hardens, but yeah, it's turned out not too bad. Um, you know, there's a couple of spots where I've gone a bit heavy and a bit light, but all in all, I mean, it feels pretty good actually. Um, yeah, it's got kind of a sandpaper feel to it, which is what I wanted. Um, wasn't hard to spray, so I mean, this is my first time doing this, so. Um, considering it turned out pretty good um, can't complain uh, I didn't really show much of the prep work uh, mainly because I mean it's just rubbing this back really and then undercoating it no, that's all you got to do rub back what you're spraying undercoat it spray it with a primer and um, yeah get into spraying the Raptor on it so I, I got the um, the actual Raptor primer. That's what I used as an undercoat. So um, but I'm sure you can use any kind of undercoat. Don't think it would really matter. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, didn't take very long either. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than it did to do this, but I had it pretty much had it all done within a few hours so you know that was good um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, but definitely won't be the last time I use this stuff um, next will probably be maybe on some side steps or something when I when I get my Hilux um, probably do some side steps and add the anti-slip into the Raptor and see how that goes because uh, I think that'll turn out pretty good but yeah I mean it's a pretty good product I'm impressed uh, and it's gonna it's gonna protect the trailer for years to come all right so that's that's it for this video uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing for the next video, but I'll try and have that up in the next few weeks. I'll, I'll think of something. Still got plenty of stuff to do videos on. Actually, I'll probably do the vacuum sealer. I've got a kick-ass vacuum sealer, so probably do a quick video on that one after this. And, yeah. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.